This video is brought to you by Warby Parker. See how easy that is? Just a logo and a quick shout out. That's it. I don't have to clickbait you all with fake promises and bosoms and stolen assets. I don't have to sink that low. YouTube does. I'm sick of it. Ah! Mobile game ads are a plague upon the internet. And with every passing day, it gets worse. It gets so much worse. They're everywhere. YouTube, Facebook, Google, Twitter, in your videos, in your newsfeed, on the sidebars of every website you visit. They're misleading, deceptive, pandering. You can't trust any of them. What you think might be a cool game with hot girls and fun gameplay is Oh, God, no! Another Candy Crush clone! Where are the hot girls? You promised me hot girls! This isn't an FPS at all! Oh, can I solve this puzzle? Sure, let me try. Oh, um, this game is nothing like the advertisement! I've been bamboozled! Again! The majority of these mobile game ads rely on fraudulent claims that depend more on shocking, and slimy promises than actual quality when it comes to their product. They don't care if most people turn the game off after trying their free-to-play game. As long as these mobile games can get their hooks into a handful of targeted users and squeeze them with microtransactions, they'll get their money's worth. And then some. Like, to a mind-blowing degree. The mobile game industry practically dwarfs every other facet of the gaming industry when it comes to revenue. Consoles? <laughs> they wish. PC gaming? Oh, not even close. Allow me to put it into perspective for you. Endgame. One of the highest grossing films of all time made around $2.7 billion worldwide when it comes to box office revenue. Monster Strike, a mobile game, has grossed nearly $8.7 billion worldwide. That is three times the amount of Endgame. That is insane. So now we're stuck in a very precarious situation. Low quality mobile games that cost virtually nothing to make, that utilize predatory tactics in order to track down consumers with addiction problems, and then get them hooked on microtransactions by promoting deceptive and manipulative advertisements with false promises. So that's the situation. Awful games that cost a fraction of what console or PC games require, while instead funneling money towards marketing in a very misleading manner. The entire system is corrupt, and so many websites are complicit in the process, especially YouTube. The audacity of YouTube to police the videos of content creators and fire off punishments blindly while claiming that actual human beings have reviewed said content. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure they have. Uh, look at this one. Oh, th this thumbnail of your Saber Spock, it's too raunchy. It violates our community guidelines. Shame on you. Now you're not gonna get paid. Now excuse us while we take money from a company that is breaking the exact same rules while also using stolen art of an underage character while advertising towards children. I'm going crazy. I'm losing my mind. How is this so brazenly allowed? I even had my own thumbnail format stolen by a company and then promoted on my videos. Ah! So yes, I have a problem with mobile game ads mobile games themselves, and the websites that allow these crimes against humanity to flourish. So, why don't you all join me as we take a deep dive into the corrupt and disgusting world of mobile game ads. Oh, don't worry, YouTube. I won't show anything in my video that you haven't already promoted on your own website. So we cool. And if my video does get age-restricted or possibly unlisted, then I don't know what I'm going to do. The irony might make me explode. Ah! 
So what are the origins of mobile game ads? When did they start? What were they first initially like? And when did they descend into the state of madness that we suffer today? For the record, a big part of the story is, unsurprisingly, related to the history of mobile games as an industry and its meteoric rise in popularity. Now, that is a topic that can be its own video. Which, ta-da, there it is. I recently launched a new channel with my friend where we talk about video game stuff, so go check out What's Ruining Mobile Games right over there. Link is in the description. Saber Spock 64, like, like the old Mario game. God, I'm old. Now, for this video, I'll bring up some of the main points from that video in order to better explain the state of mobile game ads, since the two topics are interconnected. Can't have one without the other, unfortunately. So, long ago, like I'm talking 10 years ago, there used to be a time when mobile games required upfront payments in order to play the game. We saw this in the early 2010s. But then mobile game companies decided to scrap this model of business and instead go for in-game microtransactions. The games are free, but you can spend money in the game in order to buff up your stats and whatnot. Ooh, you, you, you don't have to wait five minutes to play the game. You can just spend tokens with actual money and boom, you're back into the fray. Thanks, Bubble Witch Saga and Candy Crush. You all ruined everything. This business model would eventually become the main form of generating revenue for the mobile game industry. Not only can you sidestep Apple or Google when it comes to their fees for using their app stores, but these companies now have access to customers who might spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on a free-to-play game instead of paying $3 for an entrance fee like before. King, the company that owns Candy Crush and Bubble Witch, saw their revenue increase from $62 million in 2011 via Facebook to $1.8 billion in 2012 from ads and in-app purchases on mobile. It was abundantly clear now to mobile game companies. There was some big, lucrative money to be made via microtransactions. Said money would be used to unleash a tidal wave of advertisements. Now, I remember the first wave of mobile game ads back in the early 2010s. There was actual effort at first, with stuff like Clash of Clans. Nothing mind-blowing, but leagues above the trash we see nowadays. I often wondered when and why things started to change with the tone of mobile game ads. We went from somewhat decent commercials to the insanity of Mafia City and hypersexualized ads for like every other mobile game advertisement out there. Why did this happen? Well, these mobile game companies are running into the same issue that traditional television ads ran into in the mid 2000s, where people started to become numb to regular ads. So they had to start getting increasingly bizarre just to get the attention of people. Until, oops, now all the ads are bizarre which means people are starting to tune them out again due to overexposure. Now, mobile games face far stiffer competition than traditional TV ad slots. Since buying ads on social media is cheaper, more companies can afford to do it. And since mobile games are cheaper to produce, more companies are vying for attention in these slots. Mobile game ads only have a few seconds to make an impression on viewers, so they have to go super hard. Unlike a TV ad which has like 30 to 60 seconds of airtime, mobile game ads only have like five seconds of pre-roll on YouTube or a fraction of a second to grab your attention while you're scrubbing on your Twitter newsfeed. So poor animation, outlandish scenarios, imitations of popular properties, or blatant sexual imagery are all powerful tools to stop you dead in your tracks and force you to pay attention. Another common tactic is to bait the viewer's creativity or intelligence. Oh, only 3% of people can solve this. Or 96% of people will fail. These are common titles to poke at your ego and make you stop and take a look. And the opposite tactic can also be used with false gameplay on display making obvious mistakes. Well, guess what? It causes viewers to stop and gawk at the stupidity on display. Your brain is just trying to figure out what the hell it's even looking at. 
but that is enough for the advertiser to make an impression on you. They got their split second, now you're familiar with their brand. Some companies don't even bother to take the time to make their own ads at all, and instead directly rip footage from other, more competent games and pass them off as their own title. Even if the game they're selling looks nothing like it, League of Angels uses the logo style and screenshots pulled directly from League of Legends, while other ads were just screenshots of the girls from Dead or Alive, with a link to download their game. Dragon Awaken, a 2D turn-based RPG laden with the typical mobile trappings, ran ads that were literally just trailers for Monster Hunter. Like, full stop. No editing at all. And recently, as most of us know, Among Us is very popular. And that has led to multiple instances of sleazy mobile games using the characters or barely legally distinct knockoffs. And they use these characters in their ads, most likely in an attempt to trick the game's younger demographic into clicking. A similar tactic is being used right now by a quiz game, leveraging NSFW art from the popular Newgrounds hit Friday Night Funkin'. Or sometimes they take Friday Night Funkin' and Among Us and they combine it together. Just straight up steal it, use it, who cares? And you totally know that many of these ads are specifically targeted towards children. I recently read an article about some kid who spent over $6,000 of his own father's money on microtransactions for some stupid mobile games. And the poor father couldn't even get the money back. Google was like, <laughs> Lol, sorry, can't do anything. Enjoy your e-bucks. Guys, it is so bad that there are ads where the mobile game companies apologize for being sleazy. They're actually admitting to their own scummy tactics and by doing so, trying to sell their product. Ah! I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. How is this allowed? How is this even legal? I, I can't, I, I can't, I can't. I can't. Over the past few months, I've been watching mobile game ads and even watched some of them on my Twitch streams. Just like I did with my Lily's Garden video, I figured it would only make the most sense to react to these ads so folks can see my raw and dumbfounded reactions. Also, there's a lot of these ads. So this just makes sense when it comes to addressing this plague of madness, whether it be the hypersexualized waifu games or eating burgers and, and farting on people. How is this a game? How is this a game? Let's begin. So which game is he playing? What game is he playing? Oh. It is. Love oh, all your content. Oh wow. Continue the amazing work. When you hit the nut button, uh, <laughs> The romantic music started playing. <laughs> I, I mean, mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, they, they they go full on horror, and, and and then like the game itself isn't anything like this, from what I'm told. Capture fight. <laughs> wow, are these ads on YouTube? Try to cop a fury. Fury. Wow. Don't you ever clip that. Shut the. Fuck I meant to say fury. Oh no! Like still, it's nothing like the ads at all. So shame on you, Evertail, deceiver. Promoted to queen. It's all I ever wanted in life. What kind of outfit? How can I make the sultan fall in love? You may need clothes. These ads are all the same. It's just. Oh, I, I dropped my ball. What do you do? Uh, give ball f her ass. And like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> who, who do you pick, guys? Who choose your girlfriend? Do you want to go for oot or sexy? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Poor? What is? What? <laughs> What's next? Nurse or secretary? I don't know. They look the exact same, just in different outfits. Cute, wealthy secretary. Well, that's a bit of an oxymoron with wealthy secretary. Honey, will you be my child's father? Well, I don't know. Is that my kid? You are not! 
Because if not, then I'm going with the poor doctor. Which girl do you help? Maid or ex-wife? Well, I guess the baby thing didn't work out. Wow, look at her. Dump that ex-wife. We'll get another one. Dude, you're... Dude, you're just churning out so many kids. This guy's balls do not run dry. No. Guns of glory. What's happening here? I, it's like Mafia City vibes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hero Wars. Oh, God. The, I see these ones on Facebook. Where it's like that weird tower thing where it's like, can you do math? It's too smaller than... Then four? I don't know. What's nine plus ten? Twenty-one. You stupid. Hustle Castle is a contender. Yeah, that's how you do it. Ah! Hey, Lois, what's going on there? Puppet animation. Hey, he digs it. Okay. Um, did you all hear that? It's a Yoshi sound effect. Uh-oh, watch out, Greg Universe might be in there. Where it's like, you got Pearl from Steam Universe getting... Give it a job to Greg Universe. With Marco holding a bucket of water. That's on YouTube. We, we apologize. apologize. For selling expensive monthly cards. For setting such low odds of five-star heroes. For marketing with four ads. I'm sorry? What? We're sorry for stealing from you. Here's more stuff to play our game that we use to steal things from you. If this few couldn't get you the desired heroes, come for me. No. Why does she have a bit of an Elsa face going on? Wait, there's a part two? We, we apologize. apologize. You're, You're heard right. right. This, this is, is an apology from idol heroes. heroes. What is happening? What is happening? We, we are sorry. For still low summonards, no doubling vents. For selling expensive packs yet makes no sense. What are they admitting to? Are they just saying, like, we, we've done criminal things? Sorry? Yes. Please, Please forgive, forgive us. What? What? Log in now, you'll get 40 free trials. All five star heroes are yours to choose. No need to spend money. Wow! I got five star heroes! Uh, what, 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 what are these voices from? Queen Edict. Not Queens, it's Queen Edict. What did it say at the bottom? Hold on. Oh, I read that wrong. It says crits. Never mind. Folks, what do you what do you call games like this, by the way? Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you got me there. Got good. <laughs> Battle of the Queens. Kroger delivery is always I thought that was the mobile game for a second. <laughs> it's fresh because we check our produce at every stop. This mobile game looks great. That, that was the music from Monsters, Inc. <laughs> Straight up. The stealing. I'm going to go drink myself into, into a drunken stupor and, and, and try to eradicate the memories that I have over the last two hours. Immortal Taoist. Congratulations, my lord. Finally, you have a daughter. Huh? Really? But why she's black? I think you might need to ask your wife. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, huh. You are not! <laughs> okay, learn skills. Was that like a Tom and Jerry sound effect? Huh? <laughs> Was that little John? What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have so many women in my harem. I don't even remember all their names. Yeah. You know, if you can't have it in real life, maybe you can have it in the digital world. When you consort with your uh, harem after. <laughs> Can you imagine being paid to do this? So the reason why I want to show this one is because this one is uh, was full on approved by YouTube. Because th th this one's been documented to be on YouTube. <laughs> Come on, master! Don't you want to see more? 
<laughs> oh, she has room for my mushrooms. You see that? I always have room for your mushroom. She's a big Mario fan. Oh, there it is. Finally. Let me save you from sin with my mouth. Man, I am. She has a beautiful singing voice and, and she sings Bible verses. That's how she's saving you. We bind the spirit of Jezebel and the wife. <laughs> King's Throne, Game of Lust. <sighs> is humanity just perpetually horny? Like. Oh, it's an hour long video, good god. Stop saying I'm gonna get banned, I'm not getting banned. I'm playing the game! This is Twitch, it's all about streaming games. I'm a gamer. Free me and I can be your housemaid. Execute for, so you can execute her and get a thousand gold, or you can release and get made plus one. What would you all do? C can you adopt them? They look like they're adults. Can you adopt adults? Is that a thing, can you adopt adults? Is there a time limit for adoption? Hungry. What should I do? Beg for bread? Get a job. <laughs> get a job. <laughs> get 20 gold an hour? Jesus, better than nowadays. Bruh. I mean, I mean, like, like, I, is, there, is there no shame? Is nothing sacred? Okay, this is the ad where I was like, what? You got the girls up on like meat hooks like they're some kind of sex slaves. We got the, the nurse here up on the meat hook. Nah, we got a uh, midriff here. She's physically pretty with it, but her power is, is it, it is pitiful. This is no good. Back to the sex pits with you. I, I don't get it. I, I don't get how these ads get approved. Um, I do get how they are approved because they have so much money. Hello, I like money. Interaction. Good God, can you imagine her spine? Look at her spine. It's like <laughs> her tailbone goes out so far. Come on there. So meanwhile in Stalingrad. Interaction. Choose the officer, choose the power director. I don't know which one I want. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. And they said war is difficult. You just do it, you just poke and her face. Wanna feel it? You want to go further, right? How is this allowed? How come I have to be walking on eggshells with my videos? How come when I have to... <laughs> how come whenever I review porn, I have to have the Bible thrown at me, but mobile game ads can drop their trousers and shove it in your face? It's not fair. It's a double standard. Is, is the human race just perpetually horny at all times? Is it the combination of being of being sad, lonely, and horny? I th I think that moves the human species and the economy. What's she What's he doing? <laughs> oh God! I have to measure her. Oh, I've never been near a girl before, and her uniform's so t -t 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 tight. <laughs> Interaction. Surprise attack! I'm guarded. She's guarded, guys. Put your hands away. It's just sex. That's that's the ads. Being shockingly stupid and sex. Commander. And shameless. Hey, behave yourself. Yeah, keep your hands to yourself, scummy. Am I your bro? <laughs> she about to pop this guy. I don't blame her. Am I your bro? He <laughs> pulls out gun. I'm not your bro. <laughs> Shoot that nazi. <laughs> like, come the f on. Come on. It's endearing. Lily's garden. Uh, at least the game is not completely shameless and the ads are ridiculous, but they almost take on a life of their own with the Lily's Garden lexicon of information lore. So, um, I'm willing, it, I, I kind of like it. I hope it continues. Lord's Mobile. Death Knight will not give up. I cannot ask you to stay. I mean, this is like, it's Warcraft. Look <laughs> at this face. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least they're trying. At least, at, at least the ads are trying. We won't dwell on this one for long because, like, I feel like most of us know about Mafia Bus. <laughs> that vo that sound was familiar. I think that was the dying sound effect of an orc from Warcraft. Pretty, pretty certain, as a matter of fact. Yep, certain. Certain of it. Stop being a level one crook. Oh no! no, 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 no. What the f was that? Oh, Sound no, effect. No, no. Yeah, so I think a big part of these ads is just the absurdity. It's just absurdity. Be ridiculous. 
Merge mansions. But I'll say it again. It needs to up its game. It wants to get to Lily's Garden level of chaos. Grandma. Why? <laughs> That's pretty good. And you got the, the, this one with the girl like eating burgers. I'm sorry, is that slam? No. What? <laughs> we just downloaded. Uh, no, there's no way that that John Tron reaction is that, that that can't be an actual mobile game promo. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> if that is the actual ad, then I am I am <laughs> I am beside myself. Hey, come on, come on. <laughs> Karma. Yeah, just, you know, mobile game ads, why not? Oh no, zombies! Install the StarCraft turrets. This is the ad campaign that was like on Tumblr. Yeah, these ones. Do you smell that? Leave the house and never come back. <laughs> yeah, I farted, I gotta go, bye. This can't be for real. <laughs> what is this? When the imposter is sus. 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 Warning. Biohazard detected. Yeah, I'm, I'm still alive. <laughs> Wait, did YouTube post that? <laughs> no, YouTube. What the fuck? YouTube. But here's the thing. Um, when YouTube is like, hey, uh, we sent a human to review your stuff. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Because like, how the fuck can you look at that ad with human eyes and say, I work for YouTube and approve it unless they're paying $10 billion. Like, come on. Something, something is not being done with a fine tooth comb to approve these ads at YouTube. And and there's plenty of proof to make that argument. Is that a nerf gun she was holding? I mean, I kind of love it. We got another butt one. Choose a different life simulator. <laughs> Was this intentional? <laughs> Not the phone. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not my kid. I'll just toss him. All sinful puzzle dates Inferno ads. I've never heard of this. Oh, Liam, you stand it up. Thank you. Good eyes, folks. Thank you. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Um... Come on, bro. I'm trying to watch awful, borderline graphic mobile game ads that YouTube signed off on. Can't you give a brother a break? Just chill. Let's do it. Dear, today we'll have to a soup for dinner. Nice. All right. Oh my, I didn't salt it at all. Gosh, can you help me with that? Give her some salt? Slap, <laughs> Slap her. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's a bit of an overreaction. Like, you know, I forgot the salt. Well, bam! How dare you, bitch? You know, a hungry man is an angry man. A hungry man's an angry man. Yeah, because you forgot the salt. <laughs> Save the angel! I thought that was Goofy scream for a second. The snake's getting after her because she, she, for cultural appropriation. The snake ain't having it. Pinch the one-eyed snake.
In conclusion, I think it's safe to say that most people are in agreement about the abhorrent nature and scummy tactics behind mobile game ads. And the worst part of all, I personally believe that things are only going to continue to get worse. It's kind of ironic, actually. When it comes to the advertising, mobile game companies value quantity over quality. Lots of cheap, short, ridiculous ads that grab the attention of viewers. But when it comes to their game, it's all about finding their whales. They don't have to catch a lot of people, they just gotta catch the right people. And that, to me, is ethically very disturbing. So what's the solution to all of this? Is there even a way to address this plague of trash? Well, one could always take the path of personal responsibility and vote with your wall- <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. What am I saying? That's probably not going to change anything at all. People are going to continue to play these mobile games, and these mobile game companies are going to continue to make a stupid amount of money because of it. I genuinely don't know why folks play these games. That blows my mind. For the folks who actually play these games, let me know in the comments why. Why do you waste your money on games that aren't even that great? What's the reason? Please explain it to me. All right, so what about hosting sites like Google, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube? I mean, why would these prominent hosting websites even allow ads like this to begin with? Especially the ads using sexual content. After all, in Google's own terms and conditions, they strictly prohibit text, image, audio, or video of graphic sexual acts intended to arouse. That's not allowed in their advertisements. Oh, that's right. I know why they allow it. It makes them a stupid amount of money. Google, Facebook, and these other social media companies rely almost exclusively on their advertisement services in order to make their cash. And the unfortunate conclusion for us as a species is that these cringy sexual advertisements work insanely well on our simple monkey brains. And that success for the advertisers also means success for the platforms serving the ads. Every time an ad is served on their platform, the company hosting the ad makes money. And if that ad does well, getting the user to click on it, the company advertising will be much more willing to continue to invest on that platform to gain more users. So the sad reality is that everyone involved makes more money if quality standards are ignored. These ads bring in billions of dollars which deters the tech giants from bothering to curate the ads they serve. The money these mobile game companies pay Twitter, Google, Facebook, spends just fine. So the platforms are mostly uninterested in the deceptive, controversial nature of the content itself being served. And how much money do these companies make? An absolutely staggering amount. In 2020 alone, Facebook made an estimated $84 billion in ad revenue. Google did even more, banking over $146 billion in ad business. The money these companies generate running ads is almost beyond comprehension. So putting my hopes into these companies to actually address the vile nature of these ads, the very same ads that make them billions of dollars, well, I don't see it happening. Unless a massive amount of public backlash occurs and catches the attention of these hosting sites. And the thing that infuriates me the most about these hosting sites is the hypocrisy of YouTube when it comes to their community guidelines for content creators. They have no problem dropping the hammer on uploaders and going overboard with punishments and restrictions due to violating rules such as censoring thumbnails or alluding to sexual stuff in videos. But then you see this kind of stuff all over YouTube. These ads that feature characters from Among Us, Friday Night Funkin', Luca, and <laughs> Ed's World? Okay, why? So, that means we have ads that, one, use characters that these companies don't own, two, use stolen artwork, three, hypersexualize the characters, and four, are misleading with the true intentions of their games. Now, if that was me, breaking the same rules in one of my videos, I would fear for the termination of my channel. But YouTube gladly approves these ads and allows them to run rampant on their website. The double standards are ridiculous, and they cut me to my core. Especially when YouTube pretends to be the friend of creators. YouTube, you don't care. 
you do not care about uploaders. Stop pretending that you actually have any kind of morals when it comes to enforcing these rules that you ignore when it comes to advertisers. It is utter hypocrisy. The last thing I can think of that might be able to address the issue is if the FTC or some other government organization steps in to do something about it. Now, this was the case with YouTube back in 2019 when the FTC called them out for allowing these ridiculous kid videos on their platform. Remember Elsa Gate? Yeah, that stuff. Oh, how about how YouTube was collecting the personal data of children without the permission of parents? So when the FTC called out YouTube, they actually made an effort to improve the platform and put a halt to Elsa Gate. They were also slapped on the hand with a $170 million fine, which is like, <laughs> nothing compared to the money that they made from gathering data. I just find it bizarre that YouTube got in trouble with Elsagate videos back in the day, but now allow advertisements that practically channel the same energy of those videos. Low quality, shocking, sexually charged trash. Stuff that mobile game ads are all about. So it's no surprise that they are some of the greatest offenders when it comes to making these advertisements. So yeah. I don't know if we will ever see a meaningful change when it comes to the nature of these mobile game ads. Will consumers change their buying habits? Most likely not. Will the hosting websites become more responsible and make sure that these ads aren't misleading or crude? Well, if it will cost them money, probably not. What about the FTC or some other government body stepping in? That's probably our best bet, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Big money just has a way of always winning at the end. And the revenue of the mobile games industry is unbelievably huge. So I guess we just live with it? <sighs> Again, what hurts the most is knowing that content creators are held to a much higher set of community guidelines compared to advertisers. And that is very disheartening. Maybe I should just pay for ad space in the future on YouTube to upload my GG13 videos you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Can you imagine some kids watching Coco Melon and then my Judas and Jesus video pops up as an ad? YouTube will be like, it's fine. He paid for the spot, don't worry. Oh, now I have to do this. Stay tuned. So a big shout out to this video sponsor, Warby Parker. As you all can see, my avatar wears glasses, but get this, I wear glasses in real life. Yeah, check me out. I look like a sexy college professor with spectacles. As we glasses wearers know, it can be quite the struggle to find that perfect pair of glasses. That is where Warby Parker comes to the rescue. Warby Parker is truly committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses. They even have glasses starting at $95, which also includes prescription lens. They even offer sunglasses progressives and blue light lenses too. Real talk, the entire process of picking my glasses was genuinely awesome and incredibly easy. Warby has this program called the Home Try-On. It's a way for you to select five frames to test out for five days, and they ship you the lenses to try on for free. They even have a quiz to help you find an ideal pick. The size of the frames, the width of your head, the colors you prefer, stuff like that which helps you narrow down your search. I really like how personalized the quiz is and how it helps you to discover the top picks you want to sample. Do I want to have squared frames like my avatar or something a bit more round? Do I want those thick frames or something more thin? Ultimately, I went with this pair. I've actually been meaning to get a new pair of reading glasses. Warby was a perfect answer for that predicament. After trying on the frames and making my selection, packed up the sample frames, mailed them right back to Warby. They even cover for shipping, so it was super easy to do. Honestly, guys, this home try-on program is incredibly awesome, and this will be the way I do my glasses-related shopping for the rest of my life. It is so convenient, and I appreciate how it provides a personalized quiz, a broad selection of glasses, and ease of access for me to find that perfect pair of glasses. So. Go hit up warbyparker.com slash saberspark to sample five pairs of glasses at home for free. You get five days to try them out, see what you like and what stands out to you, 
but no obligation to buy anything at all. And like I said before, shipping is free and prepaid for, so no worries about that. Once more, I genuinely love Warby Parker and their home try-on program, and I highly recommend them.